Hello all, welcome to the Mechanical Engineer. In this video, we are going to model the parts and assembly of jib and cotter joint. Open SolidWorks, click New, create a new part. First, I am going to start with the part number one, fork. So, select front plane, click Sketch. Draw the profile of the fork. Go to smart dimension and mark all the dimensions. The overall length is 147. The thickness is 12 mm in each side. Then the gap is given as 38 mm. The thickness of this section is given as 20 mm. Go to features, click extruded bars. Extrude this to a thickness of 38 mm. Now select the top plane, click sketch. So you can use control 8 to view the sketch plane in the normal direction. Select a center rectangle, draw a rectangle here, go to smart dimension. The rectangle width is 12 mm. The length of the rectangle is given as 48, sorry 47. And the distance from the right side is given as 38 plus 20. Now the rectangle is at the center. So the distance from the center to one side is 19 mm. Go to features, click extruded cut, choose through all both. Now select this plane, click sketch, select a center rectangle and draw a rectangle of sides 38 mm. Now the rectangle is at a distance of 19 mm from the top. Sorry, it is actually 19 plus 12. Go to features, click extruded bars. And the extrude length is not given, so I am keeping a length of 40 mm. Now go to fillet and change the fillet radius to 12 mm. Select the two edges, click OK. And again go to fillet. Now change the fillet radius to 10 mm and select these two edges. Right click on the material and choose plain carbon steel. Now save this as part number one. Close this, click new, create a new part. Select the right plane, click sketch. Draw a rectangle of sides 38 mm. Go to features, click extruded bars and extrude this to a height of 170. Select the top plane, click sketch, draw a center rectangle. Go to smart dimension. The rectangle width is 12 mm. The length is 47 and it is at a distance of 41 mm from the right side. And the center distance is 19 mm. Go to features, click extruded cut, choose through all both. Now right click on the material and choose plain carbon steel. Save this as part number 2. Click new, create a new part. Select the front plane, click sketch. Draw the profile of the jib. Go to smart dimension. The edge thickness is 16 mm.
then this gap is given as 22 mm here the length of this region is given as 62 so this section has a thickness of 14 mm click control select these two lines and make it as collinear go to features click extruded bars extrude this to a thickness of 12 mm now go to fillet select these two edges click ok now right click on the material and choose cast alloy steel save this as part number 3 now click new create a new part select the front plane click sketch choose line and draw the profile of the cutter now draw a center line from the top line to the bottom line so select this line choose vertical and choose for construction now go to smart dimension the overall height is given as 136 the gap at the center so you can move the mouse and you can find out the center so the distance is 22 and the top face distance is given as 25 go to features click extruded bars extrude this to 12 mm now go to fillet change the fillet radius to 3 mm so roughly i am taking 3 mm select these two faces and click ok right click on the material and choose cast alloy steel and save this as part number 4 next we are going to assemble it click new create new assembly i am starting with part number 1 fork now go to insert component choose part number 2 go to mate choose these two surfaces and choose coincident mate similarly select these two edges and choose coincident mate then this is the third mate now go to insert component and insert part number 3 go to mate choose the side of the fork and the jib similarly choose these two edges finally these two edges okay now go to insert component and insert cutter go to mate select these two faces choose coincident mate then select this face and select the edge of the square rod and choose coincident mate next select this edge and the edge of the gib and choose coincident mate so now we have completed the assembly thank you